Hi there, uh, my name is Jonathan Gibbs again. I'm now going to film myself. I tried doing this landscape and you know what, it didn't work. Uh, which I think is a bit of a shame because when it appears on the web browser it uh, looks like it's wanting to be landscape. So anyway, if you're seeing through this again, you know, I, I apologise if it's the first time. Hi, uh, my name is Jonathan Gibbs. I'm one of the prime writers who are doing the August videos for where I write. So I am going to tell you about the place where I write. Look, it's a room. There we go. Let's give you a little glimpse of it there. It's a very nice room. Uh, I'm very lucky. I've got a room in my house that I share with my wife that we both use for uh, writing and um, office work and storing books and stuff like that. So I'm going to give you a little tour of that. Um, my name is Jonathan Gibbs. I'm a prime writer. That means uh, I had my first book published over the age of 40. Um, I like to think that we model ourselves on Miss Jean Brodie, the great uh, woman in her prime until the moment when she was no longer in her prime, uh, created by Muriel Spark, who is a writer I think we all should endeavour to be more like all the time. Very uh, succinct, very economical, very strange uh, in the, the distance that she keeps from her characters. I mean, look at the size of that book. It's an absolute monster, isn't it? You wouldn't want to be uh, reading a book like this when you could be reading a book like this. Um, so, this is a lovely big room. It's got lots of books, lots of um, storage space for books. It's got a great big desk, which cost me a pound uh, on eBay. Um, nice, solid oak desk. There's a computer here, an ergonomic keyboard, because I spend so much time working here uh, that I'm going to end up ruining my hands. So I've got one of these slightly weird ergonomic keyboards. Um, and what else? can we see? We can see, there's my beer. So I'm drinking uh, a bottle of beer, nice Sussex ale while I do this work. Um, actually, it's not Sussex, it's from Cromarty. There we go, in Scotland. Uh, there's the computer, there's the ergonomic keyboard. There are the dictionaries, every writer's best friend. Uh, as I said when I tried to do this earlier, if I ever end up on Desert Island Discs, they give you Shakespeare, they give you the Bible, uh, and they give you one other book you can take. And for me, it would be the dictionary. Uh, if you're a writer, then you're not going about it the right way as far as I'm concerned. It's the, it's the best book ever written, the Oxford English Dictionary. So let's have a quick look at what else we can see. There is a lovely Mexican death's head given me by my children. There is a lovely little robot uh, with pencil shavings uh, in, his, in the top of his skull. Uh, there's all my bills. There's some books there, most of which presumably I haven't read and I'm hoping to read soon. There's various bits of normal uh, London detritus there. There's the router and the phone, a, uh, a lovely house plant, uh, and all my books, my wife's books, uh, and a bike, and some you know, interesting, uh, interesting posters on the wall. This one's a particular favourite of mine. Um, this is a poster of a cover by David Pearson, who did the amazing Penguin Great Ideas, among other uh, wonderful work. He's currently doing a lot of designing for Pushkin Press, uh, so he's great. There's various uh, postcards and things on the wall here. What can we see? We can see Randall or the Painted Great by Jonathan Gibbs, drawn for me by my son Oscar, uh, and another one by my son Felix. And we can see some... Uh, some advice from W.G. Sebout, given out to his students at UEA, which is where I did a writing degree, um, but never taught by him. He only taught there very briefly before his death. Uh, there's Derek Jarman. Uh, this cartoon here, what is it, Dad? It's bloody brilliant, that's what it is. A clear reference to Damien Hirst, who is the inspiration for my book, Randall or the Painted Grape. Um, a... A bit of paper for, to advertise a, an event by Visual Editions, those wonderful producers of, uh, of strange and unique books. Um, and a uh, William Eggleston picture up at the top there. So that gives you a general idea of the kind of that sits around me as I write. Uh, I'm a journalist as well as a writer, so I spend a lot of time at this desk. Um, I do my, all my different kinds of work and writing here. I write all sorts of things. Not half as much of it um, is the fiction that I love, and um, that's why I'm, uh, you know, drinking the beer to console myself. But I do 
Uh, I'm a big believer in having a glass of wine or a beer while I'm writing, while I'm trying to get the stuff down, just like I'm a big believer in having music playing. Um, anything that you can do to loosen your inhibitions, loosen the sense of distance between you and the fictional world you're trying to create, uh, you've got to be in that zone when you're writing. Not when you're editing, that's a separate uh, that's a separate part of the job, but you've got to be you've got to be in there doing it. And those are the things that help me do it, listening to some uh, music, having a glass of wine, um, feeling myself cut off from the world. Um, that's my room. Um, I'm going to carry on drinking this beer and getting down to some more writing. If I back, then there it is, uh, the work in progress. And uh, hopefully uh, one day you'll be able to read it in a book form too. Until then, thank you very much for listening and good luck with your own writing.